My name is Robert Corsetti. I'm with Berkeley Nucleonics. I work in nuclear detection systems. And today we'll be talking about the product model 1621M, which is our electronic personal dosimeter. And there's a couple of things I want to address with this product. The first being what it is. And the second thing is what is its goal or what is the intended use of this product. And build on these facts and toward the end of the video we'll pull them all together and give you a more inclusive view on the EPD and the EPD market as a whole. So the first couple things I want to talk about is what does this thing really do? And the 1621 is a Geiger Mueller tube based instrument and its goal is to do two things. One of them is detect and alert the user when they're exposed to radiation in real time. This unit responds on a second by second basis and calculates a confidence level based on the amount of hits the pager reads as well as the time exposed to uh, the various different radiation sources. While our Geiger Mueller tube device will not identify the type of radiation or the isotope that is emitting these photons, but what it will do is tell you how much of it is, is present and how much the individual is exposed to. Some places might see backgrounds ranging from 10 to 20 micrograms per hour. That's a bit on the higher side, 20 micrograms being high, 10 being lower. And in some instances, downs are up to 30 micrograms, and that's due to environmental or norm sources, such as granite, stone, large amounts of concrete. The next thing this pager is great at doing is calculating stay time. And what stay time really is, it's a, a total dose in micro-REMs or millirems or REMs and it gives you that dose per exposure time. And that exposure time is anywhere from one to two hours on scene when a responder such as a fireman or police officer goes to an emergency call at a hospital or at, at an industrial manufacturing facility or it could be a two month or three month study being done by a university. And the concept actually is really quite simple in calculating stay time. It's a, just like miles per hour or uh, earning potential in dollars per hour where it's a, a unit of, of quantity divided by at time. And we always go by hours. So in this instance, if I place a source here on top of the device and I leave it there for one hour, the pager will read 1.0 millirems per hour. And that would be my dose rate if I was exposed to this cobalt source for one hour. Another good feature about this product is you may not notice or you may not be able to see with the screen, but the, the actual interface is relatively simple and easy to use. It doesn't have a bright color screen display. It's monochromatic with a backlight, just like some of the old electronics like calculators and watches are from the, the mid 90s uh, to where this is done for the reason of battery life saving or uh, for ease of use. There's not much information that needs to be displayed on this product to achieve its goal and by adding extra features like bright color screens and lots of different menus and capabilities only detract from the useful life of the device. So keeping the technology relatively simple allows users to incorporate a device like this into their inventory for a low cost initially and then low maintenance and low upkeep cost throughout the instrument's life. These systems uh, be deployed and used readily for uh, about eight years now with, with no complaints other than um, calibration and just general, I guess, use and abuse type comments such as the, the, the spring clip and the batteries dying and then annual calibrations. And I guess the general uh, information can be downloaded from our website as seen here is right here as well. The data sheet for this product it indicates specifications and we can go through those. Um, the detector again is a Geiger Miller tube and again the, the dose rate range runs from background which is 10 micrograms all the way up to a, a hot level of 100 rem per hour. That's quite a substantial dose. The energy range, the window of radiation that we look at 
when when analyzing these devices usually incorporates a more or less common radiation energy range from 10 keV up to 20,000 keV or it can be called 20 MeV. Again, the, the protection class or the, the certification this unit has is an IP67. It also has an ANSI 42 certification as well as an IEC 6152 certification.